There's nothing more terrifying than the shadow realm of anime production. It's a tragedy among tragedies, and the iceberg tip of something like The Promised Neverland Season 2. And that's why you should watch Devil is a Part-Timer. Because after almost 10 years of crying myself to sleep, wishing for a Season 2, I can finally have a night of rest. Devil is a Part-Timer is greatness incarnate, showing how the devil goes from his chaotic average life of conquering the world to working fast food. Yeah, it's a pretty dynamic change. But the shift is so natural, and it's awesome. It's fantasy slice of life, ergo a reverse isekai. Instead of being transported to a new world by some random occurrence, like, I don't know, being hit by a truck, as if that's ever happened before, the devil intentionally warps himself to our world. And his primary goal is to regain his strength, and to do so, he adapts to his new life, starts working at a McRonald's, and changes his name to Sadao Mao. But something unexpected happens. He learns to enjoy his time in the human world. Mao has to adjust to the struggles of an average life, paying bills, going on dates, keeping his balances in check, and dealing with a hardship that comes with working fast food. There is a certain level of peace he's never understood before, and he welcomes it with open arms, all while dealing with his demonic compatriots and coexisting side by side with his antithesis, the hero Emilia. They both learn to understand one another, Mao discovering the kindness of humanity, and Amelia realizing that the devil isn't as evil as she thought. The series is enjoyable to watch and easy to understand. There are plenty of funny moments, some pretty badass fight scenes, and Mao is a legendary protagonist. If you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend Devil is a Part-Timer. <laughs> <laughs>